Okay, so we're going to learn a couple of new things that will help you make some games. We're going to talk a little bit about the sensing area, and we're going to talk about um, making lists. So we learned about variables, uh, especially for score and things like that, and now we're going to learn um, about some of these sensing features and uh, about how to uh, store some things in a more complicated way. Okay, so first of all, um, it's pretty common to want to have something where you ask a question and somebody uh, answers it in some way. So this little block right here, the ask block, um, has your little sprite ask a question and then you type in your answer um, and then it moves on to the next thing. But what if you want it to um, say something to you like based on your answer. So if I ask, if I have the cat, ask what's your name and you want it to say hello and put my name in there, there is a way to do that. So um, first of all, you'll notice down here that there's a, an answer block. This is what stores the answer to the question and we can use that in other blocks. So I'm going to drag that over for use in a minute. Um, let's say we want our cat to uh, ask what's your name and then say hello to the person um, that responds. So we will, can drag this over. Now I could plop this answer right in there, but what's it going to do? It's actually just going to print my name. So if I put Dr. B in here, then it just says Dr. B. We want it to say hello, Dr. B. Well, so if we want uh, to say um, not just Dr. B, but we wanted to say hello, Dr. B, or welcome, or something along those lines. Um, so see, it just is respitting that out, which is kind of cool, but not exactly what we want. So you can actually join two things together. Um, you could use this, except that's only for numbers. So we're going to use this, which is going to join our two answers together. So right now this says hello and answer. So let's see what that does. All right, I'm gonna put my name in here and it says hello, Dr. B. Now it's kind of mushed together, but we can actually fix that. If we add a space there, then we will get Hello, Dr. B, with a space in there. So that's how you pull your answer. Um, so that's how you pull your uh, answer into something. So that's one cool thing that you can do with the um, ask question. Um, another thing that you might do, and this will get us into making lists, is you might have a quiz game, and you might want to um, have your uh, character asks some quiz questions and you want the person to answer them. So we used this data area to make a variable. Now we're going to make a list. And a list is just a way um, for the um, to store all different kinds of things. And we can store more than one thing. A variable only stores one thing. We are going to store more than one thing. So um, we can do, uh, we can come over here and let's say we want to ask some questions um, like what color is an apple? And we want to add another question. Uh, what color is a grape? And we're going to ask another question, let's say what color is the sun? Okay, so it's a quiz about colors. Maybe. We'll find out. So we can see all the questions over here, and if you uncheck this box, you can make it so that you can't see that. So um, underneath here, there's a whole bunch of, of things. Um, so what we can do is we can actually have our little cat um, ask... Uh, oops, I pulled over the wrong thing here. We actually want the items. So this will um, pull the items from your list. 
So we can have it ask the first question. Um, so let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's going to, it did say this. Now it's asking me what color the sun is. I'm going to say yellow, and then nothing happens because we didn't have it do anything. So we can say, um, let's make this last for a little bit longer so it actually shows up. We're going to take our little join thing over there. All right. So we can ask a question, and then we want to um, let somebody know if that question is right. So what we could do is we could go down here. We have an if statement, and we need to know if that is, if someone types in yellow, or if, actually, sorry, if the answer they give is equal to yellow, then we'll do something cool. Well, remember, our answer is over here, so we can put that in there. And then let's say we want the cat to say, hooray. And then if they don't get it right, that's what the else does. So if you say that this is right, then you get it right. And otherwise, you get it wrong. You could have them try again, in which case, you would ask that same question again, maybe. You can do all kinds of things. So let's see what this does. So we're going to put my name in here. It says hello. And then it's asking me the question. And if I answer it correctly, it says hooray. And then let's see if I, let's try answering it wrong. If I answer it wrong, it tells me to try again, and then it asks me again. And so we could keep, we could let them keep asking and answering. And then you can add another question if you want. So we could put another question down here. Um, we've asked the first question, item one. So we could pull, um, you can actually type over this. It doesn't look like you can, but you can. So we could say, okay, now ask the second question. Um, so let's see if it asks the second question. I'll get it right. How about that? Hooray, I got it right. Now it wants to know what the color of the grape is. And of course, we haven't done the if statement. So you would just repeat this block um, however many times that you want. Now another thing that you could do is you could use this to keep score. So you could have a bunch of questions and you could, if they get it right, you get a point. And if you get it wrong, you lose a point or you don't get any points, something like that. So that's just a new thing. Um, and you can just try some of these different things. Most people use um, pulling the items out of the list um, by using this and pulling it into questions. That's a, a, good, a good thing to do. You can also, um, you know, put it into say statements if you want to, um, but of course you don't get any response. So even though this will ask the question, you don't get a, a response from that. Um, so the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the sensing area so for um, when you're touching things. I'm going to go back to my other game program for that. So um, I hope that helps and you can play around with that for your game.